Here's a quick video on all the boat ramps in the area. So I get a lot of comments and questions about boat ramps for the area. I also see it a lot on local groups. So here's a video that will help you with all the lo uh, local boat ramps for uh, the Ocean City area. It's not a complete list. It's just more of the well-known ones. Um, there are some other ones kind of off the beaten path that I have left out uh, just for the sake of um, where they are really. The ones that you'll see in the video are in the area of Ocean City and they're the quickest way to get to uh, fishing spots. So I hope you like it and here's the first one. I'm on Route 90 headed into Ocean City and the easiest way to tell this one is look for the water tower. Big water tower right there. If you'll notice Right through the trees, you can see the ramp. It's right on the other side. Right there. This boat ramp for Ocean City, you can see it right here. The sign, it says boat ramp. And this is off of 65th Street into Ocean City. So you just follow the signs from there. It's the Ocean City Police Department is also right here. And we're going to follow the signs to the boat ramp. Now this ramp was just redone as of the filming of this about a year or two ago. I think it was actually last year. So this boat ramp has two launches from it. You can launch kayaks from here as well if you'd like. Uh, parking wise, it does have a lot of parking. And usually when I see it, it's not always filled. I guess it, it can be. Uh, there's no fee to use the ramp, but there is a fee for parking. You have to pay to park. Uh, so this is the 64th Street uh, boat ramp. And this is the two two ramps this is probably the easiest one to get into like I said 90 runs right there you come in this way from 90 and turn past dead Freddy's and into the police department and it's right there it's pretty easy uh, fishing wise you can hit the both spans of the 90 bridge directly out here you just take this channel all the way out uh, it's maybe a couple hundred yards and then you'll hit the the first uh, pillar of the bridge so it's really close it's convenient too uh, from here you can take a short trip down to the 50 bridge and down to the inlet in that area here's the directions to the gunpoint road county boat ramp i am on 589 route 589 it's also known as racetrack road you can get to it from 50 or 90 either one uh, just look for the sign for 589 or racetrack road the road that i'm looking to turn off is gunpoint road you'll see a sign that says county boat ramp and you follow this down Follow it down probably about a half a mile, maybe a little bit less, and you'll look for the sign that says uh, Worcester County Boat Ramp right here. Here's the lot turning into it. Now, as far as this ramp is concerned, it is only just the one ramp right here. Uh, as far as parking goes, it's good parking. It does get fairly busy over here and during like high traffic times, obviously in the summer on weekends. If you're familiar with the area, the Ocean Downs Casino is right there. Now this is for uh, boats and kayaks as well. For kayaks, I really wouldn't suggest this one just because the uh, distance to paddle out is is it's pretty it's pretty significant uh you're looking at going all the way down to the end um down in this area it's good for our a lot of crabbing 
and it's uh, uh, easier access to the thoroughfare if you're a flounder fisherman they have that too so uh, from here if you follow it all the way out you'll go into the bay uh, and then from there you could hit hit the 90 bridges this way or you could go into Ocean City that way so this is the Gunpoint Road boat ramp. There is no fee for it. It's a county-owned ramp. So the directions to the Sunset Marina Commercial Fishing Harbor, you take uh, 50 into Ocean City, as if you're going into Ocean City, 50 going into Ocean City, and you turn right onto Golf Course Road. There's multiple ways that you can get to this ramp, but that's generally the easiest way. From there, you just go straight through the second stop sign, and this is the Commercial Harbor. Now this boat ramp is the most well known of all of them and it's extremely busy all the time during the season. Uh, it's tons and tons of parking. It goes all the way down, all the way to the end and people will put their boats, I mean they park on the street, everywhere, all over. It's super, super busy. Uh, they have public bathrooms right here. It's a county owned ramp so there's no fee and there's no parking fee either for this one. Uh, for this boat ramp, there are three different launches. So you have one, two, and three. For here, popular fishing spots are pretty much uh, going out into the ocean. You just pretty much take this all the way straight out and it'll go right into the inlet area. You can fish the 50 bridge behind uh, the Ocean City Airport, drifting for flounder over there. Uh, but mainly this is a big one for people going out into the ocean. So I did forget to mention for the Sunset Marina, uh, it is used for mainly for boats. Uh, you can use it for a kayak as well. So the boat launches to Assateague, there's actually, there's two of them out there. You want to take 50 as if you're going into Ocean City, same as if you were going to Sunset Marina, and then you're going to turn right onto 611. Route 611, which is also known as Stephen Decatur Highway. Uh, you'll pass the Ocean City Airport right here. Behind there is a popular spot for flounder fishing. And you'll follow this all the way down. This will run you all the way into Assateague Island. And I'll show you both boat ramps out there. So here I am coming up to the boat ramps for Assateague, the Assateague Island area. Uh, the, if you go to the left, that's the Assateague State Park and Assateague Island. If you go to the right, it's the South Point Community. I'm going to go to the right for now and do the one at South Point and then I'll come back and do the one on Assateague. As I'm traveling along the South Point Community Road, you just take this all the way to the end. You're gonna pass Ocean City Golf Club, uh, a lot of community, like housing developments and communities. Just keep driving all the way to the end. 
All right, as you reach the end of South Point, you're gonna pass a lot of really large homes uh, and very nice homes. And then all the way at the very end, at the dead end, is the boat ramp. This is another county run boat ramp. There is no fee to use it, no parking fees. It is not extremely well used. However, the spots to get to for fishing can be uh, fairly difficult. And I'll show you why in a second. Now this ramp has just the one launch. Uh, like I said, it's not really well used too much. Uh, if you can see all the way in the distance, all the way down, that's the Verrazano Bridge to Assateague. That all right here, this whole stretch is all Assateague Island, all the way down there. Uh, the, this waterway specifically is very shallow and it can be in certain spots. So you, if you're going to come back here uh, and you're going to put your boat in, just please know the waterways, check your maps, all that stuff. Uh, it goes anywhere from a couple feet down to like a couple inches real quick. There's a lot of sandbars out there and things like that. So it looks like it's it's a very deep waterway and it's it's not at all, not at all. As far as to go out here, you can fish the, the bridge. If you want to take the boat ride down there, that's a nice one. There's also a lot of clamming, crabbing, uh, and then if uh, you can get into the marshes and all that stuff, all the other fish that hang out in there, stripers and all that. This is a boat launch and it also is a kayak launch too, but however, if you're gonna launch your kayak from here, be prepared to paddle pretty far. So this is the Assateague State Park boat launch. So at the fork where I went right to go to South Point, I just go left and I follow it to here. And it's literally right at the base of the bridge. So as far as parking goes, there is quite a bit of parking and it's all this. Now this boat launch is used somewhat frequently i guess in the summertime uh, not as much as the other ones down by ocean city but it is used quite a bit um, the downfall to it and i do have to warn you is department of natural resources police tend to sit right there right at the uh right at the end of the ramp and they will check your catches they'll check your boats all that stuff so uh, just make sure that you have everything lined up when you're ready to come here there is a public bathroom it's right there uh, there's no fee to park but there is a fee to use the launch, and I'll show you that in a second. So the pay center here, it's a self-pay, and the bathrooms are right here, and the boat launch is right there, and the booth to pay is right here. You'll even see it, it's, they make it pretty easy, it says pay here. The envelopes are in here, you take the envelopes out, and then once you pay, you put it in, uh, hang it on your mirror. That's it. So this ramp does have two. There's one here and one here. And the fishing location, this is the Assateague Bridge that goes on to Assateague Island right there. So uh, as far as just a, a, a quick paddle out in a kayak or just a quick motor out on a boat, it's this is a great spot to fish. Uh, there is a lot of fish underneath the bridge. Uh, you can kayak here, and if you would like to uh, run your boat down towards Ocean City down there, you can vaguely see it in the distance. Uh, down there is some good flounder fishing behind the, the airport. So this is the Isle of Wight kayak launch. As I'm coming into Ocean City, I'm on Route 90. Right in front of me, this landmass is Isle of Wight. And the launch is right over this way. So this is pulling into the Isle of Wight Nature Park. The kayak launch is right here at the end. For this kayak 
launch it is for non motorized watercraft no boats uh, it can only be a kayak so the launch is right here and as far as parking goes parking is kind of difficult over here just because there's not much room um, what I always suggest is either parking along the reeds over here or behind my truck over on the other side along the, the sides or where my truck is from here I'll give you an aerial view of the bridges 